Howdy folks, welcome back to another animation. All right, so today we're gonna play around a little bit with um, brushing and uh, just a little bit more of the timeline. So I'm gonna go out and uh, I've, I've created my stage already, 1920 by 1080 by 24. I'm gonna turn the 24 back down to 10, just like we like it at first. And this time I'm just gonna do some drawing on a real stark stage. I'm gonna add couple uh, a couple things to my stage. I'm actually gonna put a stroke on this one and uh, some kind of green here and I'm gonna put there we go and there we go and then I'm gonna put another one up here and there we go. How many of you nerds know what I'm gonna draw? All right so I'm gonna call that the background as usual. Now I'm going to create a new uh, layer, and this one's going to be uh, my character, Marius, hero of the Romans, as I'm sure you are aware. Uh, I'm going to create a brush, B for brush. I'm just going to create a stick man. And you can, like, uh, like we did in uh, Photoshop, maybe I didn't teach you this, you can change the size of your brush with the square brackets on your keyboard. They're sort of near your enter button. Uh, so I'm just going to you know, strip a normal size brush and I'm going to draw his head and some sticky arms and some sticky legs and I'm going to go and um, change my brush again to draw a little hat on Marius here. There we go. Let's fill that hat in. Fill that stroke in there. There we go. Brush that little bit there. And then I'm going to brush a bit of white on there. And finally, brush in a bit smaller here his Marius symbol, which is going to be an M. There we go. Okay, so Marius here is our character. I'm gonna select him. And uh, we're going to have him animated. So I'm just going to do some really simple stuff with him. Uh, like we did before, we have a background, which I'm going to lock here. And then I'm going to most of my stuff on, on this here. Uh, I am going to insert a new keyframe. Here we go down here. I'll zoom into my frames again so you can see. And on that keyframe, he's going to bounce up. We'll have to select the whole thing every time. Bounce up a little bit. But now I'm actually going to hit the eraser button. Make up my eraser larger. I'm going to erase his arm and draw his arm slightly differently. Okay, and erase that arm. Draw that arm again. Erase that. So I'm pressing E each time to erase. Okay, now if we scroll between these frames here, you can see he's kind of jumping. And now I want to F6 that, get another keyframe here. Erase again, erase again, erase again, erase again. And I forgot to move him, so V. That's Mr. McCafferty texting me. I don't know what he wants. Okay. Um, I'm going to bounce uh, him up again, and then I'm going to use my draw tool to just draw a bit more. Okay, it's looking pretty cool. I'm an amazing artist, aren't I? Okay, so we have him jumping, and we can F6 again, create another frame. Uh, last time I'm going to move him first. But it gets kind of confusing, doesn't it, about where he's been and what his arms were before. So I'm going to show you a special tool here called Onion Skin. Uh, and just like anything, um, it has a tiny little icon here, and it's Alt-Shift-O or this tiny little icon here. And it shows us, as you can see, what the previous frames were that we had before. So it even shows us in green the frames that are going to be in the future if we pull our uh, scrubber back. So there he is. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? 
So our frame here from four or from three to four, there was no change. So we haven't actually moved him yet. So let me grab him and move him. And you can see that's where he was before. And so now when I erase, I can start pulling it back. Okay, and F6, V, grab them, pull them up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to control Z that, that's undo. And if I this time erase, I can see where the blue was here behind, and I can do a better job at brushing something similar so that, and now when I move them, his arm position is going to be similar. F6. And if I just keep doing this over and over again, um, he's going to move up. I'll teach you a couple other things here. So let's say, let's uh, erase a little bit here again so that we can just do a little bit more. Do, do, do. Okay. And then now I'm going to press, I'm going to press V, select him, drag him, and Q for transform this little box around them and I can actually start to rotate him slightly so if he's gonna jump all the way across there then uh, we can rotate him so now I can do F6 erase there we go brush in new arms for him new legs and then uh, Q, no, so we gotta select him first, drag over him, Q, and uh, a little bit more rotation, and then also move him. And now, let's see our animation here. We can turn off onion skin so we can see clearly, and we'll press play, and there he goes. Okay, amazing animation, right? All right, keep working away plugging away oh by the way if you want to borrow one of our drawing tablets while you're at uh, in class you are welcome to do so just ask any of us teachers we'll get you a drawing tablet and you don't have to use a clumsy mouse to do your drawing all right guys till next time